Now, a lot of YouTube videos out there make it look super simple to start using a wireless mic system almost immediately. But in fact, there is a little bit of setup involved to get the best sound out of your wireless system. And so today we're gonna to talk about what you as a solo content creator need to do before you start using your wireless mics. It's freezing out here, let's go back in my studio. Okay, first big thanks to the fine folks over at Savanto who were nice enough to send me over their brand new wireless lavalier microphone for the purposes of this video. And in fact, you are listening to it right now and it will be the only microphone that you hear throughout this entire video. The Savanto mic is a two transmitter wireless system with built-in microphones that can be used with your DSLR or mirrorless camera via the 3.5 millimeter cable or to your mobile device or laptop via the included USB-C adapters. It also comes with this super cool charging case that holds both transmitters and receiver as well as their clip-on wind muffs. This set usually retails around 200 US dollars on Amazon, but oftentimes it's on sale, so I've seen it as low as like 130 to 140, so check the link down in the description to find the best price. Okay, so once you've busted out your brand new wireless microphones, the first thing we need to do is to connect them to your camera. Traditionally, that's done through a 3.5 millimeter TRS cable from the wireless receiver's output to your camera's mic input. If your receiver has a multi-output function or is strictly digital, you could be outputting to, say, an Apple device via a lightning connector or if on Android via USB-C. And if you're using something like the Savanto wireless mics, you could also connect it to a laptop via USB-C for recording into your favorite DAW or even using it for video calls. So in my case today, I'll be using the USB-C dongle to connect the receiver to my DJI Osmo Action 3. Okay, so now let's grab a transmitter and make sure that it's paired with the receiver. Most of the time, transmitters and receivers come pre-paired from the factory, but I think most, if not all, have some kind of manual pairing function in case you need that. So it looks like the receiver is getting a signal from the first transmitter. We can see on this particular set that mic one has a solid light and mic two, which is not connected, is flashing. Now, before we start using them, we need to set the optimal recording level. But before we do that, I first like to know where we are going to clip our microphone so that we can then set the appropriate level. For example, if it's clipped closer to your mouth, you might have a different level than if it's clipped farther down on your chest. Where you clip your microphone could depend on a bunch of different factors, including the kind of clothes you wear and the types of videos that you shoot. For me, I have a deeper voice, so anytime that I clip a lav up here, it ends up picking up a lot of the bass frequencies that are emanating from my chest cavity. So uh, for me personally, I like to clip a lavalier mic a little farther down. I'm sure your situation is going to be a little bit different, so you'll have to play around with your optimal mic placement. Okay, so now that we've got our mic set where we want them, we have to actually go and set the recording levels. Typically this is done in your camera via the audio record level, and sometimes your transmitter or receiver will have this function as well. On the Savanto mic, there is a three-step gain adjustment on the transmitter. You can set different levels for different speakers based on any number of factors we just talked about. So right now I can set three different levels on the transmitter and my DJI Osmo Action 3 has a gain setting of zero to 20 dB. Now the basic goal of setting your gain levels is to get a good signal without clipping while trying to minimize the inherent self noise of your equipment. Usually anytime we raise the gain of something, we are introducing a little bit of that equipment self noise. And typically that's heard as white noise or hiss. When it comes to self noise, your camera generally is going to have more and be louder than your audio equipment. So a general rule is always to set your camera's record level lower and your audio equipment's record level higher. And most of the time that gives you the cleanest signal that you can get. But in certain situations like this one where we have our microphone set in a different position, the gain setting could depend a lot on how close your microphone is to your sound source. So if your mic is say up here and you're clipping at your micro receiver, you might need your mic to be at a lower level and then adjust your camera's gain accordingly. Sometimes it really comes down to which device you have more fine control over. And so in my case, the transmitter has a three step gain and my camera has a little bit of extra control when it comes to fine tuning that gain. Okay, we're almost ready to record, but before we do, we need to make sure that our wireless mics features are where we want them to be. For example, some systems have split recording or safety tracks or a DSP feature, a digital signal processing. And in fact, uh, depending on what kind of features you have, you might wanna do this step before you set your audio record levels because sometimes these features can impact uh, gain settings. In the case of these Savanto mics, they have a noise reduction feature, 
which automatically is enabled when you power the units on. Personally for me, on my voice, I find it to be a little bit aggressive, and so I'm going to turn off that feature by holding the DB button until the DSP display turns green. The Savanto mics also have a reverb function that you can enable with a double press of the DB button. You know, for all those times that you wanna sound like a rock star. Personally, I like to get as clean a recording as possible initially when I'm shooting my video, and then if I need to add some effects, I will do that in post after the fact. And basically, those are the key steps that you need to take to set up a wireless mic system. Again, big thanks to Savanto for sending me out these units to demonstrate with, and if you have any questions, be sure to leave them down in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and we'll talk again real soon.